of Queen Elizabeth's uh, the Elizabeth II's funeral on Monday, Zimbabwe war veterans who fought in the country's liberation struggle from British uh, colonial rule in the 1970s now want the new king's attention. The Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association wants King Charles III to help their country by scrapping targeted sanctions imposed by the West 20 years ago. ENCA's correspondent Pindai Dube brings us the story. In 2002, the European Union and the United States imposed targeted economic sanctions on individuals in the Zimbabwe government, accusing them of human rights abuses. Now, the war veterans say it's high time the sanctions were removed. We would like to remind the British and the incoming uh, uh, king of the British that it's not necessary for them to continue using a uh, uh, weapon of mass destruction sanctions against Zimbabwe because it is evil. A Zimbabwe pressure group, the Citizens Against Economic Sanctions, says the restrictions have damaged the country's economy. And the citizens in Zimbabwe who are suffering because of the illegal sanctions they imposed on this country, we are saying to the people of Zimbabwe, let us take the next stage to request the reparations for the damage they did in this country. A Zimbabwean pan-African analyst says Africans should rather celebrate the legacies of their traditional chiefs than the Queen. You'd also notice that there's been this social media hype around uh, commemorating, celebrating uh, the Queen and all of that, and yet we do not celebrate our own, you know, uh, chieftainships and all of that. So that also speaks, it's a reminder of the inherent residency of colonialism. This week, the United States government removed 11 Zimbabwean individuals from the sanctions list. Those who are removed are either deceased or have been deemed as no longer undermining Zimbabwe's democratic process. Pindai Dube, Harare.